What is this? Hey guys, so clearly it's a no makeup Monday kind of day. I decided I'm going to try to pick up the camera and vlog this week. It's been quite some time, but it's something that I definitely want to do. So, hi. If you're new here, my name is Brianna and I am a third year, third grade teacher in North Carolina. It is the end of the day. I just had a yearbook meeting. We also had tutoring after school. So I have been busy, busy after school. And this is what I look like with no makeup. I chose to eat breakfast this morning instead of that. So I think that was a really good choice. For those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, I am challenging myself to eat zero points on Weight Watchers this week. That doesn't mean I'm starving myself. That means I'm eating fruit, vegetables, turkey, chicken, fish, I've been posting all my meals on there and I'm gonna talk about them throughout the week. So I made myself an egg with fat-free cheddar, cheddar cheese this morning. And I also read somewhere that eggs help you stay full longer. So I really just wanted to have food in me so this would be a lot easier. And then I just ate my normal lunch, which is my ground turkey, um, black beans, corn, taco sauce, all that good stuff, all zero points, fantastic. I'm gonna go home and have a cucumber. Today was actually a really good day. We are working on time in math, which is a little tricky for the kids to remember quarter after and quarter till. We used pool noodles. Let me show you what we did. So I gave each math group a pool noodle and I did change math groups today finally and that worked really, really well. I told them to hold it in a circle. They make it a circle so it looks like a clock. So we practiced partitioning it in fourths first. So they did, um, they took a piece of tape and they did the 12, the three, the six, and the nine. That way they can understand that the quarter is a fourth of the clock. I really wanted to emphasize that to help them understand it. And then I said, okay, but isn't this tricky to hold our noodle in a circle like this? Cause one student was the holder. And after we had counted by fives to every tick mark, we let go and it turned into a number line because this is going to help them better understand how time relates to a number line, especially with elapsed time. So that was a good activity for the first day back from true spring break, to be honest. We did come back two days last week, but not the whole class was here and we all weren't really in the mood for school, but that was really awesome. And for centers, they did test cards around the room, which I need to take these home and look them over. I don't grade these, I just use them as a formative assessment tool. They were doing these task cards, which I will link down below. I bought the entire bundle for third grade, so they had to look at the clock and tell the time, or there's ones, I don't know where, oh, like over here, that already have the time on it and they need to label the clock. That's why the recording sheet had clocks on it and my air just turned on. Um, then we made these last week. So I had them pull these out and partition it again to be able to understand all this and I had them write it on here. I was doing it on the board to show them. We talked about a lot of stuff. I just wanna emphasize that because, I mean, they're either gonna understand it or they're not, but the more we talk about it, hopefully the better it's going to be. In reading, we were finishing up comparing and contrasting. We read the Mooseling stories. We're comparing and contrasting fiction. So we made this little flip book for the story elements for both stories. And then we were putting it all together on a Venn diagram and the kids had their own stories by Maggie Bridger that they were reading and doing independently. So we're trying to finish that up so that we can move on from it because we've been working on it for a while now. That's pretty much it though. I did get another thing of Formulate and 
as you can tell like when my hair looks this yellow it's greasy and I showered last night I'm trying because they've sent me literally five different sets of shampoo and conditioner but I, I just don't think it's working for me I'm gonna get my stuff together and head home for the day oh actually there's one thing I want to do so I got a clothing rack for my I'm going to start selling clothes on Poshmark and I just need somewhere to organize them and it came in this really long box so I'm going to use this to store all my borders because they're literally they're hanging on a hanger but they just take up so much space and it's not like I switch out borders throughout the year so I'm just going to store them all in this tall box and put them away I feel like that's much easier and much more convenient than this because why do I need something sitting out that I don't reference all year, you know? But that is that. I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. Clearly, the light is not working with me today. It is a struggle. Oh my goodness, it's 7.20. I'm just getting to school later and later and later every single day, which is fine because I'm not like actually late, but late for my standards and I don't know I'm just not with it in the morning I just want to sleep as long as possible and I put on foundation this morning that's better than yesterday but that's all I did dry shampoo and ponytail oh I didn't even have time to make breakfast so I cut up an apple and grabbed two pickles to eat throughout the day so that I can make it. I had a dream last night that I was eating chocolate and I'm like, oh no, it's not zero points. <laughs> it was a bad dream. <laughs> but yes, I'm gonna go because clearly gotta go, wasting time here. But I'll talk to you all later. My goodness, can't wait to get coffee when I get to school. It's gonna be a slow start to the morning. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I actually did not pick up the camera yesterday just because I don't know. It was a good day, but when I was done with everything I needed to do at school, I just wanted to head home, so I didn't catch you guys up with anything. But we did a really fun activity, actually, in science yesterday, and it was super simple. Um, it was just a force and, motion, force and motion experiment, talking about energy with a piece of paper and a cup on top. And try to pull the piece of paper out from under the cup without making the cup fall. The kids thought it was the greatest thing in the world. And I remembered how much I miss doing fun, like science activities and like STEM things in the classroom because not gonna lie, this year it has been very limited. I've been trying to figure out how to be a reading teacher and to get all of the important content in and when that happens, writing and science and social studies sadly gets pushed to the side. And I hate that for these kids, but I'm so happy that we did a fun activity. We've done a fun activity almost all week. So that's been awesome. They've been loving time they get. We've been using their mini Judy clocks. I don't have this one for everyone because this is the one where you just move the minute hand and the hour hand moves. I only have two of those, but the kids do have these to move on their own and all of them can tell time all of them can show me any time it's awesome small group has been so simple because we've just been i've had them show me a time and then on their whiteboard they write it in all the different ways so they show me the digital time they show me how many minutes after the hour, how many minutes before the next hour. If it's a quarter or a half, it, they'll tell me half past the hour, or they'll tell me quarter till the next hour or quarter after that hour. And they've even written it in words and they've just been doing such an awesome job with it. Um, so this is the manipulative that I do use for time. I try to have a manipulative for every skill that we are doing. They've been having a lot of fun with that, so math has been just a breeze because it's been so easy and I've been so on top of giving my kids so much positive feedback and I feel like it's made such a difference. 
in their behavior. Centers this week for math, they get started right away. Like they're so excited about it. If you do not do centers, oh my goodness. My video I posted this Monday, I will link it right here. I think it's this way. I'll link it right here, but it is my first in a mini series I'm doing, just all the information I have about math centers. So I'm going to film quick short videos about that stuff. So make sure you definitely check that one out. That's one of the reasons my math time is so successful because my kids do four different stations every day and they're each 10 minutes each and that's it. And I know that doesn't seem like a lot of time, but I originally wanted them to be 15 minutes each so it's an hour of time, but sometimes my mini lesson just runs over, but they still get all of their work accomplished and that helps them with their pace. Like they know they have to stay focused and it doesn't give them too much time to like fiddle around and do whatever, you know? So it's just been so great and they're practicing so many different skills in one day alone. Today during centers, they finished up their task cards around the room. You can see random cards on the sticky clips around the room. So we started those on Monday. My Math The Room Center, they were finishing up those task cards since it was only 20 of them and they're telling time, so it's super easy. So once they were done with that, instead of having them just go work on IXL, um, which is usually my response because there's so many different skills they can work on on there. IXL is one of my stations, so I didn't want to have them do more of it, you know, which is never a bad thing since they only have 10 minutes on it anyway. But on other days we do math facts. So when they were finished, instead of going on the Chromebook, they just went to the math facts station, which I never thought of before, but that's super easy because technically that's the same station. So there's never going to be a different group doing math facts the same day that they're doing math the room or task cards around the room because I call the whole thing math the room because they're doing math around the room. <laughs> That's where that comes from. And then technology, they were doing IXL, which was just the time standards on there. So they were typing in the time on the clock, which I think was super helpful because they that's where they learn how to use the colon if something is AM or PM. So that's gonna help them with reasoning when certain situations happen. So they were practicing different skills on there. Now that is the one station that I feel like they, it is frustrating with 10 minutes because some of them it takes them five minutes to get on the computer. But when they do their independent practice, which again is not going to be a lot of problems because you don't wanna drive these kids insane with worksheets, you know? We do guided practice, we do problems together, and then they see it on their own to do a little bit independently. They had their study guide today, which was 10 questions. And it was all which clock tells this time or what time does this clock tell. All of them finished, a lot of them finished in like two minutes. And I'm like, no, go back and show your work, please. They do something like this super fast, so when they get done with this, they get on IXL. So I don't always want the answer to be, oh, when you're done, get on IXL. Luckily, that gives them a little bit more time. I think what I'm going to do next year, and I have to see the order I have my um, rotations, but I'm going to put technology after they do their independent practice. That way, once they start on IXL, they can stay and they don't have to rotate during that next rotation because they'll already be on their Chromebook and they won't have to do that double login process because now our Chromebooks, when you close them, you used to be able to open back up and the student would still be logged in. Well, now when they close them, it completely logs them out. It's just like this new setting they did. So it's a little bit frustrating with that. And then small group with me, I explained. So those were my four centers and they love math time. And it's like, they're so eager to start that they start getting up and just going to work before I even finish explaining each rotation. But I never really have to explain it because it's usually the same thing every week, just with different material. So this way has just worked so well for me. Um, this is kind of a really big extension of what I'm gonna be talking about in my centers. But I mean, I really want my reading block to work like this next year because they're so independent about it and we get so much accomplished. Yeah, there's a few that I have to stay on about. Um, luckily in math, I feel like 
reading might be more of a hassle with this next year because I do want to do more centers. Like I haven't done centers at all actually. I tried, but it was really difficult because I didn't have a direction. I didn't really understand the whole third grade curriculum. So now that I know what I have to teach these kids, what they have to learn, I have a better idea of what to do for reading centers next year, which I will most definitely do because I feel like math time, which we do math right in the morning, I feel like it's the most successful time of the day. Granted, the kids are still waking up, so they're not as energetic yet, but we just get so much done in such a short amount of time, and I'm not constantly trying to discipline children because they're all over the place or I'm never having to say do this when you're done because they just know and they're trained and it's like a beautiful thing so I like gave them a point today because I'm like you guys just get like they get up while I'm giving the directions because they're so eager to start but then like they go and they start and they're silent and they're working and the great thing about the centers that I do, it doesn't involve much talking, so my room is almost silent. Like, we have to truly whisper at this small group table, and that's why like I'm excited to rearrange my classroom next year because I want my small group table away from students' desks where they'll be working. But I have a lot of just reorganizing to do and figuring out how all of this is going to be, but it's been really good since we've gotten back from spring break. Like I am so happy to be a teacher. I love every day. I've been laughing with my kids every day. It's so amazing. <laughs> oh, I did get my birthday treat from my PTO. At the beginning of the year, we fill out a form with all of our favorite things. So I got a Diet Dr. Pepper and Sour Patch Watermelons. I'll have to save these, but Diet Dr. Pepper is zero points. I'm gonna put that in my fridge even though I have a whole case of them back at home. They are my holy grail. I know, diet soda, whatever, whatever. You know, there's so many bad things people can put in their body if I'm choosing diet soda, whatever. I'm going to end this video here because I want to post a video today, which is Wednesday. So hey, if you're joining me today, give this video a thumbs up because you are probably on the notification squad. And if you are not, I feel like a child saying that, but make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you are notified every time I post a video. I will post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Someone commented, you've been killing it with the content lately. And guys, I'm trying because I love this, this holds me accountable. I love sharing and I love talking about what I'm doing and I love reflecting on my day. Um, Hello Third Grade made it a good point, like this vlogging thing is not just so we can come on here and make a video just for fun or whatever, I don't know. It's not just because, yeah, collaboration is great and we wanna share with you, it's a good reflection piece for us to think about what went good in my day, what can I work on, here it is. Here is my reflection of my day. So yeah, everything's going really good. I do have things I need to grade and I know I said in my video about how to survive to the end of the year. Click here if you have not seen that one. I'm like, get all your grading done, don't fall behind. Well, I'm a little behind. So I'm gonna do that um, probably tonight and it's super simple stuff I have to grade. I don't know, I'm just happy. I hope you guys are happy. Let me know down below what makes you happy about being a teacher or what's something really what is something really amazing that has been working in your classroom this year that's what i want to know because that's what everybody needs to know so that we can try to implement it and see if it works well for us so that's what i'm going to leave on today i hope you guys had a great day don't forget to come back friday don't know what kind of video i have but it'll be something fantastic so i'll see you then bye